1000 Nex or Full Torva, whichever comes first. That's right, a brand new series. Although maybe it's just new and not brand new at this point, because this is part number five. So I, I guess I'll leave you guys to decide whether or not this is new or brand new, because suddenly I can't even think of what the word brand even means in this context. So anyway, we are going to be doing next. Will the 1000 KC come first or will the definition for brand come first? <laughs> no matter which one it is, we are going to be better off. So here we go. Well, let's jump right in. Alrighty, friends, here we are picking up right where we left off at the end of the last video, 600 KC at the next. So far, luck has been on our side. With only 1700 nail shards, we've managed to get six drops, four van braces, one helmet, and one plate body. Considering you're due to expect one unique every 400 nail shards, we are definitely looking good at this point. And just for a little bit of perspective on how long this grind has taken us so far, here is the first three hours of the 600 KCs in three seconds. Oh, hey, J Man Ballin coming in with the Torva play body at 625 KC. I don't think I've seen a single Torva plate legs yet, but that is like the sixth or seventh Torva plate body we've seen. <laughs> I am not complaining, man. That is by far the most expensive thing here. So, once again, we will be milking that for a lot of GP on the Bond Delt very soon here. Probably after this trip is done, we'll go collect our split. Yeah, that is <laughs> just so much GP. It's going to be so nice. Whoa. Hey, yo. <laughs> Um, okay, well that is definitely the closest thing we've ever had to a back-to-back -back on this series. 627 KC. We got ourselves some Zarite Van Braces. I wonder if the other one's still in the chat box. I wouldn't imagine it would be. There's like a lot of text in the next KCs. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> but yeah, that is pretty nice. That's gonna be a lot of GP for the team. Five Van Braces, dude. Five Van Braces. Although I can't really complain because we haven't had any Torva dupes yet. If we could just get the legs, that would be sick. And yeah, it looks like we're gonna be doing the good old seven brew kills for the rest of this trip. Should only be like, what, four more nexes or something? So it should be fine. This team's pretty decent. Shouldn't have any issues. All right. If there were ever a time for the back-to-back, -back, it's now. Let's fucking go. And we don't get it. We get the cannonballs though. That's pretty nice. 808. All right. We are going to go ahead and split the boys. Wait, I don't even know how this is going to work. I guess I just trade him my split for his split. I never done it like this before. That's interesting. Okay. 141 mil split from one Torva plate body. Damn, dude. And we're back up over one one bill again, you love to see it. And then I trade Simplord. 52, 500k. Shout out to Simplord, 69. And I guess we'll go ahead and just get out of here. Sacrifice our 57 Ancient Essence, not too big a deal. We'll go drop the spares, all right, fan braces to the Bond Alt. We are indeed dropping the fresh pair, never before worn. They have gone up quite a bit since we started this. I think they were like 153 mil. Now they're up to 158. Pretty nice putting this at 1,126,000,000 GP. Also, this is pretty crazy, but I actually bought like, I don't know, probably 100 Bonds back in like 2017 or something maybe like 200 bonds honestly they were only four mil at the time so i was like i'll probably just like invest in these you know and sell them for a bunch in the future i ended up just using them all because now bonds are like 11 mil or something and since i still need bonds i would be buying them anyway so may as well just use them right anyway we're only down to six bonds left now so i'm gonna have to start buying bonds for the first time in like years but that's fine this will probably be the most interesting update i've ever done before because if we re-log you will actually see that i have 369 days left of membership and that is because <laughs> uh well i got a free year of membership from jagex recently for being a nice guy with who creates content and they want to support their content creators so shout out to fucking jagex man they don't get enough shout outs there's oh it's always yagex and gagex and jamflex why 11 dollars crab emo but they they do some good stuff too man we should be uh we should be thankful for them especially the old school team obviously but you guys already know that anyway we are gonna get back on the next how about that we're almost at 30,000 cannibals now too wow amazing i fucking love to see it bro this is the first time i've gotten the bob shirt clue step after having actually filled the stash with the bob shirt in it because i did that only just recently never gotten the bob shirt on this account but now we have it and i can do the clue step so i've probably gotten this clue step like maybe uh 40 or 50 times on the lifetime of this account and this is the first time we are doing it so normally this clue would be a drop but not anymore I don't know if this is my best kill ever in terms of supplies used, but I'm pretty sure this is the best. Like, 
We used one brew the whole fight. There's no way I've ever beaten that. We got to eat here. You can hit a 33 through prayer. So as long as we stay above that. Yeah, there it is. That is our best kill ever in terms of supplies. Two restores, one dose super combat, one dose range, and what is this? One and three quarters brew. That is insane, man. That is insane. And that's, of course, just talking about trios because all I'm doing these days is trios. I haven't done anything else in like the last 500 KC or something. Alrighty, friends. This is the last session for probably the next few days. I got a big video to edit. That is going to take us a while. So can we get something here? We do not get something here. That is all right, though. 655 KC is what we're stopping off here with. And yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and edit the first next video. So the videos are pretty backed up at the moment. Looks like the first next clip was on January 15th, and it's currently February 18th. So yeah, I'm really excited for this. It's going to be a ton of editing. So yeah. All right, we are here. We're going to be here for the next uh, 10 hours or so. So good luck us. Aww. Oofta is offering me a bond as I'm editing the next video. Shout out to Oofta. Alrighty, friends, we are done editing the video. Managed to get uh, like 18,000 aim at the start tips this time around. By the time we were done editing, I had like 10,000. And then I've just kind of been AFKing all day because I was waiting for a very particular thing to happen. And now it's happened. And I have a giant announcement relating to that thing. Probably the biggest announcement ever on this channel. And that is that UIM Loki is now partnered with kick.com the streaming website i made a youtube post about this when it happened a couple weeks ago and now it's happening you did in real time in the video <laughs> but i think i'm just gonna leave this in you can only convey so much information in a youtube post and i just kind of want to touch on this for a minute but feel free to skip forward a minute if you don't care the main thing that i want to touch on is that me by myself at my computer is just a different person than the me who's interfacing with hundreds of people live and yeah you're probably going to notice that over the uh well however long we end up streaming for kick usually when i stream i only like to do it for like three to four hours but since this contract has started i have been streaming like 50 to 60 hour weeks and it's been probably one of the more challenging things i've done recently kick is in no way pushing me to do this i am taking it upon myself to fully explore this rare circumstance i've found myself in and while i am enjoying the challenge when i'm not currently at the end of an 11 hour stream where i can barely even keep my eyes open i just wanted to communicate that I'm imagining you will probably notice a difference in the uh, content itself on the YouTube over here because on top of like the 50 to 60 hour stream weeks <laughs> I also have to spend the 10 hours editing the video every week so it's like just a lot so yeah, that, that's pretty much all I wanted to say for now. I could talk for way longer on the topic, but we have some next to do. So I suppose we will get on into the next. Also, one more thing. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm keeping you guys hostage. But three days after this video gets uploaded, I will actually be going to Japan for 17 days. It's just one of my childhood friends dreams is to go to Japan. So we're going to Japan. We're taking a bunch of other childhood friends all going to Japan. So there won't be any videos for two weeks, maybe three. I don't know. That'll be the longest have ever gone without posting but i am also actually going to be live streaming the entire trip on kick.com so that's the main reason why i wanted to say this right now if there's enough interest for it i guess maybe i could like post some stuff on like a separate channel or something i don't know like about the trip but yeah this is the official plug to come check out the kick from march 27th to april 11th is when my trip is so there won't be any RuneScape content during that time, just Japan stuff. And yeah, okay, now actually back to the next. I guess we'll go ahead and get on over there. So I guess we'll go ahead and open these clues that we got while editing, nothing and nothing. That is perfectly fine. You're gonna go ahead and put the amethyst arrows into the looting bag, putting us up to 57,000 amethyst arrows. We are getting up there, man. We are getting up there. I really wanna get that stack up to like one or 200K and then I can like relax because I feel like that's what you have to do to be a cool UAM these days. We're, we're risking it. We're risking it. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Kill him. 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 Go, 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 go. Thank you. Whew. 25 HP. Not even close. 661 KC. Oh, bro. We just got fucking 10 loots. You can't even see what KC it is because there's so much shit going on in the chat. Alrighty, guys. We have 500 Ancient Essence. I've never had this much Essence. This should be good for like five hours of next. So probably like half of the day worth of streaming because I've got a big fucking day of streaming ahead of us. But yeah, so I don't know what how it's going to be. Oh my God. 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 Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Dude. Holy shit. Holy shit. Bro. 
<laughs> oh my god. What? You guys, I just completed full Torva. <laughs> 676 KC. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting to do it so fast. What the hell, man? We didn't get any dupe pieces? Bro, five vams, one helm, one plate body, and one legs. Holy shit. I can't believe it. We did it, you guys. And we did it on kick. <laughs> We did it on our first ever kick stream. Well, second ever kick stream, but that's pretty much our first ever kick stream. Wow, I am completely bewildered. I am completely bewildered. I guess, like, maybe we stay for the Nihil Horn for the Zarite Crossbow, because that's going to be really useful for a lot of combat achievements, right? That's one of the most useful items in the game. Let's see, if I open up the next wiki, Nihil Horn is a 1 in 258 times 3, because we're doing trios times 3. That's a 1 in 774. We should definitely get one, right, by 1000 KC if we were to stay. Pretty likely we'll get it, but there's a very high chance we also won't get it. Um, hey, how's it going, guys? It's me. I'm Loki. I'm that guy from the video. But you probably know that. What some of you probably don't know, though, is how powerful the Zarite crossbow really is. I have alluded to this before many times, but in case somehow you've only started watching the video at this point and never watched any other RuneScape videos before, the Zarite crossbow is crafted directly from the Nahil horn, which is a drop that comes from Nex. And when you fire this bad boy, you're guaranteed to hit 110 damage. Damage. It's guaranteed. I'm not even exaggerating. Okay, I'm kind of exaggerating. Because what this weapon really does is it guarantees the bolt proc spec for enchanted bolts. And we're particularly interested in these ruby bolts, which will hit a guaranteed 100 damage on any monster with 500 or more HP. And there's one more thing. The guaranteed bolt proc spec is only on the special attack with the Zarite crossbow. So, now that I've explained this to you, what do you think? Is the Zarite crossbow worth going for? Well, hopefully you said something along the lines of, it depends, because for some people it is, and for others it's not. <laughs> but if I ask the question a little more apropos, is the Zarite crossbow worth going for, for UAM Loki? Well, the answer should still be, it depends, I think probably right. Because one of our next major goals on the account is going to be doing Grandmaster combat achievements, for which the Zarite crossbow is probably one of the most useful items in the game. However, 750 necks will take us about 150 hours on average to complete complete, which means the Zarite crossbow effectively has a cost of 150 hours tied to it. Now the real question is, is the Zarite crossbow going to take 150 hours off the Grandmaster Combat Achievements grind? And the answer to that is maybe. That's really hard to say, however it's going to make it a lot easier, not just in terms of brute forcing the bosses themselves, but also as a psychological component. Having the best item in the game to grind Grandmaster speedrun challenges is going to be a huge weight lifted off my shoulders, and there's also a really important important added mention here, and that is the Dizana's Quiver, which was just released with the Fortis Coliseum. It makes the Zarite crossbow much more manageable on the UAM because it allows us to store both arrows and bolts in the cape slot. The item isn't actually out as of recording this, but the broad consensus for the UAM community, who I do not speak for, is that the Zarite crossbow is an incredibly valuable item. So with all of these things, it is at this point the decision has become final, UAM Loki will be Embarking on a new journey, the Zarite crossbow or the Zarite crossbow, whichever comes, Zarite crossbow. All right, dude. Well, it feels so wrong not going and making a full tour for right now, but I do have 400 ancient essence here that I want to use up before doing that. So here we are, 677 KC, no back to back. The first kill on the Zarite crossbow grind has officially begun. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. What the hell is happening? Torva full helm for Uncle Cuckle. Literally like 4kc from the last one, from the legs that we just got. I don't even know how that's possible, man. I don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> we're literally like just absolutely pr Oh, we were MVP too. I could have gotten that damn. It's fine. I don't need it. That is just a lot of GP. All right, so we are going to go ahead and split the team. He's sending me 93 mil for the full helm, and I believe I am to send him 116 mil for the plate legs 
a split for a split. And then another 116 mil to Mr. Iron Keegan. Sad he had to die on the uh, Tora Fullhelm drop, but at least he gets a nice split on his alt. You'll love to see it. Shout out to the homies. We are officially below 1 billion GP once again. Alrighty, friends. Well, our team has disbanded, and I am far too excited to make these Torva plate legs. So even though we have 200 inch in essence, I am going to go make them now. All right, well, I figured I may as well take advantage of having the open inventory. So we went and grabbed a full inventory of super anti-poisons, which will be good for you know, like uh, like over 100 necks or something. So that is pretty nice. We'll come to Bob Barter here and decant them 89 necks worth. You'll love to see it. Alrighty, guys. I can't believe this is happening, but we are here. We have our two Bandosian components and our Torva plate legs damaged. We even have some friendos from the kick stream coming on over to cheer us on. This guy, Miwi, is not only the rank 75 hardcore Iron Man, but he's also the rank one necks for hardcore with over 7,000 necks KC. <laughs> so he will be consecrating this ceremony. I think we just make it. Yeah, we already did the Ancient Forge because we already have the Bandosian components. So we come over to the Ancient Anvil, repair your Torva plate legs with two Bandosian components. Yes. Holy shit. We're getting to work. Immaculate. 2250 smithing XP drop. You use two Bandosian components to repair your Torva plate legs. You feel mentally and physically exhausted, but you have a great thing to show for it. And that is full Torva on the ultimate Iron Man. And I may just be the first Max Infernal Cape having full Torva having Dragon Boot G guy. Who knows? <laughs> I feel like most of them would have prims at this point, but not me, because I don't. So here we go. We have full Torva, boys. We did it. We are here. And now we are going to keep on going for our Nihil Horn. And we are going to use our full Torva to do that. Which means we are going to be down one inventory spot. So we're bringing in one less brew every time. Should be fine. We also, consequently having used up all of our Bandosian components, have two inventory spaces here in the looting bag. Which means we can put the Nihil shards in there that we are eventually going to use for our Zarit crossbow. Which we can also put in here now. So that is great. We are all squared away. That is just the most most satisfying thing. I am extremely happy with this and I am extremely excited for the future. So let's fucking go. Bro, there's nothing like when you ask for plus two and then two fucking full blood tour where people just show up and immediately say ready. I don't think that's ever happened. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty nice. His prayer's down. Run, buddy, run. Oh no, the crasher is going to get killed. Oh, <laughs> our rapture. Sorry, buddy. Better luck next time. Maybe don't crash and you won't die. There's kind of a twisted irony with that and I am all for it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You fucking guys, I just got the ancient hilt. 697 KC. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Ancient hilt is worth 51 million GP. Hold on, I have to pause the music. Bro, that's just unbelievable. What, what do we get the, the legs at? 676. So 21 kills later and we get the hilt. That means we only need, what, like two things left on the log? This log is so sexy. One hilt, one legs, one body, one helm, five vams, 2,000 hill shards on the dot. That means we should expect to get five uniques in this meta KC and instead we have nine. So that's incredible. Then the hill horde, man. If we can get the fucking the hill horn and the nextling well the next thing would be great but we don't need that but the hill horn especially dude that's gonna be incredible absolutely incredible i don't even know what to say i don't even know what to say i am speechless two uniques in one day bro that's incredible with that we are gonna keep on going man all right so these guys want to keep running which is fine <laughs> i'm gonna drop him the ancient hilt because we are not gonna be holding on to that it's not really worth it for us it's essentially like an sgs which it can be useful, but it's not worth an inventory spot for me, I don't think. And I don't have enough inventory space to like hold on to this while we keep going. I can only bring in seven brews if I hold on to it. So I'm just going to drop it to Epstein. <laughs> didn't kill himself and then he's gonna bank it and then we're all gonna split when we're done with this trip because we all have like 200 inch oh my god he <laughs> no 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 this guy's do i keep it he they're not gonna pick it up he's spam clicking it he's got it he's got this right he's got this you got this right when this thing turns yellow that's when it spawns so there's a bunch of random people logging in <laughs> 
There we go. He instant got it. Okay. Oof. <sighs> now we can have eight brews going in there, which with full Torva isn't actually even enough sometimes, which is something that I'm starting to understand considering most of Nexus DPS comes from mage based damage and Torva being melee armor means <laughs> we kind of take a lot more damage. Though I haven't tested it out too much though, so I will keep monitoring the situation and revisit this soon enough, hopefully. So here we go. We got a 17 mil split. Nothing crazy, but it's definitely very nice. In fact, that puts us back over 1 billion GP once again. Yellow to see it. Yeah, all right. Well, this is the first kill that we've gotten cannonballs since we got our new Torva legs, which means, well, normally we would put the cannonballs here. Well, we put them here and this was here and this didn't even exist. So this was there. But now because this is here and this is here, this uh, has to go here, I think, which is fine. Seven brews just is not enough to have consistent kills, so we're not going to be picking up cannonballs anymore, which means if we do end up sticking with that, we ended up bagging 33,000 cannonballs for our imbued heart grind, which is going to be super nice. It'd be nice if it was bigger, but that's fine. Since we're at 700 KC, if we end up going to 1,000 KC, then we'll probably miss out on, what is that, like 14,000 cannonballs or something? And that's assuming that we get the horn at 1,000 KC, which who knows when we'll get that. I don't know, man. I think this is what we're just going to do for now, and we may end up revising it in the future. Bro, Iron Keegan, this guy we're doing next with, I couldn't figure out what this cape was, but then he said it's the third age druidic cape. And then he's also got the dragon full helm. As an Iron Man, obviously, <laughs> this guy's fucking stacked. Bro, 30 gifted subs. We only got 29 viewers in here. Bro, that is, <laughs> that's, the, that's, an, that's the equivalent to 60 gifted subs on Twitch. I'll let that sink in for a fucking second. It feels so wrong to just sit here and take that. I don't know how to say thank you enough. That's just, you're, you're a different breed, my friend. I like how this guy dropped a bunch of super anti-poisons for me. And he's probably thinking like, yo, you're poisoned. You could pick those up and then not be poisoned. But I'm an Iron Man, so I can't even pick them up. So instead he's tantalizing me. And I wish he didn't do that because I don't like being tantalized unless it's in a good way. And this is not a good way. There's a whole liter. Okay, I need to drink four liters a day. Or otherwise my eyes are going to get so fucking dried out and start tearing blood. He's still on me. Get the fuck off me. No, dude. I just chugged like seven brews. Jesus Christ. My God. That was fucking stressful. All right, we are out, but the team should be able to clean it up. This is why I don't like using seven brews. We are standing over here only. Ultimate Iron Man. Nice over here in this little nook sulking in the corner as an Ultimate Iron Man should be. There's the kill. What do we get? A ruby and a death rune. So with that KC completed, what we're actually going to do is go ahead and leave because I've got some reorganizing that I want to do. I figure that if we're going to be going for the ZCP, we are going to need those 250 Nihil shards in order to make that thing. And since I dropped all of my Nihil shards in order to make space for our two Bandosian components when we had those sitting in here, uh, I kind of need to get those back. However, if we were to hold on to loot like we are right now, for example, these cannonballs, that would mean we're only bringing seven brews into the fight, which is not really enough brews, honestly. So what I'm going to do is I am going to permanently retire, well, not permanently, semi-permanently retire these Zarite Van Braces because they probably give us the lowest DPS boost out of any of the things that we have currently. Yeah, I think the play is the Zarite Van Braces go in the looting bag here. We can always change our mind about that in the future. So we're going to go ahead and put the cannonballs in here, put this up to 34,000 cannonballs and now we can start getting a big old stack of the hill shards that'll go right here we need 250 considering we've gotten like 2,000 in 700 necks divided by 250 that's going to be 86 more necks KC on average to uh, get those 250 shards so it's a good thing we're starting this now before we get the horn assuming we ever even do get the horn because imagine if we got the horn and then we had to stay here for an additional 86 next kills that would just be sad so oh we are going to be doing this and I am excited excited about it. And yeah, it's kind of worth noting. Part of the reason we can ditch the van braces is because our current Zerosian item to not take damage in here is our Torva helm. Because we don't have a helm switch, we always have it on, which means we never have to worry about not having a Zerosian item equipped because we never unequipped the helm. A lot of the value for the vams on UAM comes from the fact that they are that Zerosian item. And I guess I just wanted to make a little note of that. Man, it feels so nice not having to do a seven-way switch back into melee. The six-way switch is like so clean three increments of two everything's fine the seventh just like adds that one extra switch it's like just a little bit too much i really think we found the sweet spot with this uh gear switching setup thing here god damn it i have to go back and watch the clip on that one i have to see if he pk'd me i have to see if he pk'd me i have to see if he was standing out of tank range on purpose 
He didn't. He didn't PK me. See, my problem is, is that I'm so fast. I ran over there faster than everyone else, and Umbra just targets whoever the first person is. And so I got hit at 17 by Nex. Also, I'm getting targeted by Nex because I don't have a Fury. They all have Furies, so I have the lowest defense bonus, and her she targets you based on your defense bonus. So because I have the lowest defense, because I'm optimizing highest DPS, and I'm the fastest, because I guess I'm the fastest here, that means I'm the one who's taking all the damage, as if I already wasn't crippled enough by being a UIM. It just sucks to be punished for being the fastest. That is not a good feeling. Alrighty, friends, another next kill. What do we get? The Hill Shard. Our first the Hill Shard. Since having made the clip about us gonna be getting more the Hill Shards. So there we go. The Hill Shards, 24 of them. You love to see it. We'll go ahead and drop these Addy arrows. So these are gonna be sitting here. And then we'll put them in the loading bag, of course, once we uh, ever go do that. The Hill Horn acquired. Just kidding. The Hill Shards. Same thing though, right? Hey, there is the big old 750 KC at the next. That is huge. That's three quarters of the way to a thousand. And that is a lot of quarters. So if I had a quarter for every time I... Well, there's... I don't know. Probably gonna edit this part out of the video. Whoa, what the fuck? I got next duo combat achievement? That's gotta be a bug. I don't know what just happened. If you go in with two and the third goes in late, you get duo KC. Oh shit, so because we entered late, I entered the last tick. Whoa, that's crazy. Dude, that's super cool. Yeah, I don't have to do a fucking duo KC now. I mean, I feel kind of bad for like cheesing the combat achievement. But yeah, we got all the next combat achievements now with that. That was the last one. Yeah, we got perfect next and we got next duo. <laughs> Killed next with two or less players inside the arena at the start of the fight. So I think technically i went in after the start of the fight i was one tick it was a one tick window that you have to enter on and i, I accidentally got it hmm. okay well that's great yeah we are gonna uh keep on going i guess all right well that is 501 ancient essence shout out to the Addy arrows for helping us get those they probably saved us about 100 dragon arrows oh my god 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 <laughs> Oh my god. Torva Full Helm. Number two, baby. <laughs> Whoa. 769 KC. Torva Full Helm damaged with the Elite Clue, no less. For Mr. UAM Loki. Holy shit. Okay. 10 uniques in 769 KC. At 2200 Hill Shards, we should have 5.5. And, and we have 10. 10 uniques, bro. That is so lucky. That is so crazy lucky. I love that so much. We've made so much GP on this grind. And right there, we just made 100 mil each of us. All right, man. Well, I just don't really want to be using seven brews for any prolonged period so i'm gonna be dropping the tour of a full helm over to these guys just like we did with the ancient hilts that one time nothing crazy just a nice casual 300 mil sitting on the ground imagine if the servers went down yeah that might actually be the highest threat to our situation here a transfer successfully completed shout out to Zenium for helping out with that makes it a lot easier for me 96.8 mil sounds good to me i'll take it you'll ever see it we are up to 1.101 1 billion GP. Whipping out the AGS from over there as a last ditch effort. Good fight, sir. Remy Gates Jr. Well, there we go. There's a win on the alt account. The UAM is currently at next with a ton of KC, so I didn't want to bring him over here. Okay, and we just finished our second back-to-back 10-hour -back live stream. As for me, I am exhausted, man. 10 hours of streaming really kicks my butt, so I will see you guys in the morning for some more content. It feels weird doing the outro with this guy because this is not my normal guy. And there's the kill. First kill of the stream. First kill of the day what do we get the torva plate body just kidding but i bet i made you look except i probably didn't even make you look because i didn't even like say it that excitedly i didn't really sell it too well but now you're looking probably so there you go i got you bitch sorry yeah when your bling is iced out but that shit melting from all your hot bars you got the drip it was worth a shot oh no he died no, Pookie. Not my Pookie. I've been calling him Puke, but I'm pretty sure his name is Pookie this whole time. Another next kill. Nihil shards, bro. So many Nihil shards. So good. Do we even need any more? We have all the ones we need, bro. Hell yeah. Alrighty, friends. We finished up another trip in next year. My voice is starting to go. Third day in a row of heavy streaming. So we'll see what happens with that. As for now, I'm just going to go ahead and throw these Nihil shards into the looting bag. And when we do that, we are now going to have over 250 Nihil shards. And as you can see over here on the wiki, 250 Nihil shards are needed to make the Zarit crossbow once we get the Nihil horn. And we're also going to have to go and grab ourselves an AC 
TB at some point. So that'll be a super fun grind to do with the Tebow. I've also heard that you can shadow Commander Zillion these days. So I'm sure we'll experiment with that. Otherwise, yeah, that is it for now. And there's the obligatory hard clue as well. What do we get? Oh my God. The double Zami page. Sardom and Boots. That is a nice looking clue. 2007 me would be fucking loaded right now. Dude, I just realized these are actually going to be super nice for when we do the ACB grind. Wow. Yeah, that is amazing. And here we go. The big 800 KC. Conveniently coinciding with optimum video link. We are going to go ahead and end it here. It's really nice to have finished the Torbus series before the big Japan trip where I don't post for three weeks because I don't know, it would just feel weird like coming back and then and posting another Torba video. So anyway, as always, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. Take care. Until next time, I love you. Bye. And don't forget to come over to kick.com forward slash Yoya Milky to see the Japan trip. Massive shout out to the YouTube members at the silver tier. We've got Chester, Thornforge, Brendan, Toasty the Wizard, Benjamin H, Cookie Cake, Gangplank Main, Kenneth M, Nihilism, Rip, Tragator, Chicken Noodles, Clump, Alfredo, JBT, Cope, Fruboy, and Jacob P. For the gold tier, we've got Aea, Misks, David Moon, Killer Queen, Bellham, Dubbing Till Death, Gilly, Obtainable Beer, MF, Amorn, Tripod, Soapski, Big Dick 69, It's Slits, and Romulu Scorelot. Cheers, guys. See you in the next one.